Hi, it's Jimmy, and we're playing realistic golf with realistic expectations. And what that means is we're going to take the scratch par for the course, add our daily handicap on top to get our new target for the day. We're going to distribute those shots against the nine easiest holes and the nine hardest holes. First hole of the day is a 480 meter par seven. It's a par seven because it's stroke index three, and I get two shots in this hole. All right, we're away. All right, this curves around to the left. Can't hit a draw, so aiming at the far tree. All right, probably a, a hybrid might have been better, just so I could be on the fairway and not blocked out here. So I'm going to try and close down an eight iron and try and chip it with a little bit of a draw which is a shot I've been practicing, so hopefully I can get it to work. That's not exactly the execution, but for a shot I, uh, for a hole I get two shots on, that's not bad. Last time I was here, I remember there being a bit of run in those greens, but it looked a bit softer this time. So here we go. Oh, not that much. Ground I'm chipping on is hard, greens are soft. Little kick forward. All right, that's what you get when you don't use the practice green. Oof. Oh, get out of it. All right, getting us started with a par there on the first hole, and then we're moving on to the next one. It's a 346 meter par five. It's a par five because the stroke index 11, and I'll get one shot on this hole. Well, I can hit the trees on the right, though. So I can't really do much else other than keep it low. Um, and the way I'm gonna keep it low is just, just play a five iron. Trust that I can get on the green with my third and two part for my par. Oh, that's cutting it fine, but like lower next time would have been good. I can feel a slight breeze my way. So I'm only gonna go pitching wedge, which should be a hundred. And it looks like that the flag's close to the back anyway, so full goes to plan. Should be pretty good. Oh, no, nah, that's okay. Get over the hill and roll. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, just a little bit high, a little bit of pace. Oh. Overall, not a great hole, but moving on. All right, that's our first blemish on the scorecard. We've got a bogey there, so double bogey if you're playing with a scratch card. Now, this is a 295 meter par five. It's a par five because it's stroke index 12 and I get a shot on this hole, very tricky. All right, this is a five wood hole. It's only 300 meters. Goes around to the left. I think um, three wood's gonna be too far, so. A high flighted five wood. Or a low cutty stingy into out of bounds five wood. Wasn't quite out of bounds. I'm 150 away, cause that's the marker there and got to keep something low. Oh, that is actually looking really good. It's going to be right though, but pin high right. So I'm just off the back. Little 56 degree bumper, hopefully. Okay, look at that, I'm happy. 
there's a leaf just on the right hand side of the cup. That's uh, hopefully my line. Well, I hit my line, just the wrong line, or too much pace. Two putt, all the fangs. Uh, remember I said two putt, all the fangs. Don't forget that. You know, this is a 150 metre par four straight up the hill. It's a par four because it's stroke index 15 and I'll get a shot on this hole. How's this view? If I'm making a putt today, it better be this one. That's a misread. That's a misread. Yeah, I spoke too soon. Anyway, we're moving on to a pretty tough hole. This is stroke index two. It's a 370 meter par six. Par six because stroke index two and I get two shots in this hole. So it's quite a long one. Still a hard hole for the scratch golfer, but let's see how we go. Up. Oh. I'm not finding that ball. All right, it's a, um, it's a local rule that everything's lateral because it's summer and there's a lot of snakes in Australia. But it's a Jimmy Bunker's rule to say I'm playing right here. Okay, ended up here. First shot out, second shot drop, third shot here. Fourth shot on the green. Or just off. Actually just on. All right. Okay, so this is stroke hole two, which means it's a par six. So I can still have a crack here and actually come away with it with a net birdie. Or I just two putt for par. Either way, happy. Just putt it halfway, just putt it halfway. Oh, I thought it was going to do it to me again. Come away from a stroke index two with a par. I'm actually pretty happy about it. So currently one over our handicap right now. Now, this is a tough hole. This is a 530 meter par seven. It's a par seven because it's stroke index eight and I get two shots in this hole. All right, this is a big one. This is 530 meters, but it's a par seven. And it goes mainly downhill. Still long, still long. Oh, and it's even longer. Oh, I'm so glad all the roos saw that. Geez, it'd be amazing to be on this green three after that uh, first shot. Okay, okay, be good. Ah. Oh. All right, so actually, actually pin high. Um, just gonna hit it on the high side because it looks like it slopes a fair bit the opposite way, so. That's not enough. Wow, that, is, that was disgusting. All right, that's still a six, when it's a par seven for me. 
Okay, that's going to wrap up the first video. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe for part two and three. We're going to be doing this in six whole blocks, currently even after six.